Hi guys, I hope you're having a great day. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing how I'm using a lot of the flower pots as well as the plant stands that I've purchased this year around my home. Some of them I'm using in very traditional ways and others not so much. So I've shared some of these in different videos here and there on my channel, but I thought it would be fun to put them all together into one video and add a couple as well. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. So when I saw this in the store, I wasn't exactly thinking plant stand. However, I do think it's a very pretty plant stand. The feet come inside the packaging in the box that's right there and you just screw them onto the bottom. But I was thinking what a pretty tray this would be. So you could add some felt pads to the bottom to protect surfaces and this could be used in so many different ways around the home. In fact, I ended up purchasing two. One of them I tried out on my living room coffee table and it was there for quite a while. And then I put it on our kitchen table and I love it in there. It holds some faux flowers, our salt and pepper shakers, coasters. I just love how it looks, especially with all of the baskets that I have in my kitchen. And the other one I actually have on my dresser. I did add the feet to it and i use it as a tray for my diffuser and just a few odds and ends in a decorative way on my dresser and i just really like it in fact i'm wishing i had a third one for my coffee table because i do miss it in that space so i'm kind of thinking about getting a third one For my first planter I'm sharing, I bought this really large textured planter. I just love the size of it and it works perfectly as our fruit bowl. I had actually been searching for a fruit bowl. I saw another YouTuber using this planter as their fruit bowl on their table and I just thought that was such a fun idea and so I purchased it. We have been using it and I just love how it looks in the kitchen. I liked the look of this planter so much that I bought the smaller size as well and I've decided to just use it in my living room at least for now to give this smaller plant a little bit more substance up on the shelf. I just placed the smaller plant down inside this larger pot, scooted it to the front of the planter, and then made sure the leaves are tucked over the sides. And when you're standing back, you cannot tell that it's not planted in this pot. And I think it just gives it a much more substantial look. And I really like how it looks up on the shelf. The next planter is something that I had seen on a video as well and it was using a planter as a Kleenex container and so I purchased the white one to try out and then I already had the textured one so I was going to see which one of these would work better and actually I liked both of them. They both looked really pretty but the one with the lip 
actually made it a lot more functional. It just worked a lot better because it held the Kleenexes in place. So that is the one I'm going to be using as a Kleenex dispenser and it is in our living room. The white one I ended up using it as a planter on another plant stand that I purchased from a consignment store this year and I love how that looks. And then because I ended up using this particular planter as a Kleenex dispenser, I did purchase another one so that I could put my faux florals back inside the planter and back onto the shelf because I really liked this color and texture there and I was missing it in that spot. So I did go ahead and purchase another one of those. But I think this is such a fun idea and you could definitely use all kinds of different planters, but I kind of feel like the ones with the little lip would work a lot better. And here is the other plant stand that I purchased this year from a consignment store. It was actually only $7.50 and I just love how it looks. I really figured I would possibly use it outside, but I'm kind of liking it in the living room at least for right now. It's metal and you can swivel the different sections around to kind of change how it looks. But here you can see the white planter is on the top shelf and then the Kleenex dispenser or the textured planter is on the coffee table. At that same consignment store, I also picked up this really pretty planter. It was $8.50. It's extremely thick walled and extremely heavy. And I just love all the detail that it has. It has some really nice thick metal rings on each side. Just love the overall look of this. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I think it's just really pretty and such a great find. The next planter that I purchased is this really pretty gray streamlined concrete look herb planter. It has three planters attached to one tray. It's very heavy and I really wanted it to work out on my desk and it actually fit perfectly in this space. And I want it to hold my different highlighters, pens, pencils, that sort of thing. I've been a lot more serious about budgeting so this first section is all about budgeting. So I have all of these labeled with different categories such as food, gas, utilities, pets, and so on. So that we can be mindful of where all of our dollars are going. If you buy groceries at all, which is probably everybody, then you know that prices have increased significantly. So if we need to tweak something in our budget, then we can take a look at my budgeting book and see just what we could adjust and make things work out just a little bit better for different categories and to help us reach our goals as well. And the systems that I follow are the Budget Mom. I really like her system as well as Dave Ramsey. There are some similarities, but there are also some differences. So I'm loving how this planter looks on my desk. I like having everything at reach and it just makes for a really pretty workspace. So I would love to know how you use planters and plant stands around your home. If you have any fun ideas, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear those. And also, where do you find some unique and fun planters? Do you look for them at thrift stores, consignment stores, antique stores? I would love to know that as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, give it a thumbs up, comment to let me know. I'd really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day, and thanks for watching. Thank you.